Hey, if you're joining me from my FAQ video, then we're going to take a short interlude to have a look at the Drupal database. Now, if you ask DDEV for a link, he will kindly provide. So over on the left-hand side of this browser, we have a list of databases. Uh, DDEV by default uses DB, which is absolutely fine. And as you can see, it's a quite a list of database, I mean, uh, tables. Um, it's actually not the full list. It's paginated. So we'll go to number two and there's the rest of it. There's a user's table, all your taxonomy, shortcuts. You can read it. Uh, we're interested in node. There's a number of tables here. All of these together. Um, everything together makes your pages but uh, these node tables in particular are for the content um, node is very is a very simple table um, you get your node id bid uh, so on and so forth as you can see but uh, the important bits are in like node body no comment, you need to comment. Uh, these are our image tables, our image field tables. If you recall, we created an image FAQ table, um, a field, and we did receive an error at first because there was an existing node field, image ta uh, field. I keep referring it to these as tables, and that's really all they are, as you can see. Um, Go ahead and create stuff in Drupal. See what changes in your database. Um, I know there's a schema out there somewhere. If you want to have a look at it, all you got to do is ask Google Drupal 10 database schema. And it looks pretty old here. I don't know, but there you go. You got a couple anyway, Drupal 7 and 8. If you look hard enough, there's probably one for Drupal 10. Um, have fun and in the next video we'll we will create a view for the FAQ content type. Thanks for watching.